For the purpose of this tutorial, I will be building a vending machine with seven slots. And this is the same design as I've used in all my prototypes. But of course, you can add up to 28 items in this machine. So let's head over here and get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a wall that's 15 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then you're going to fill this to 3 blocks high all the way. So let's go ahead and do that. Then on the side that you want the items to be dispensed and gathered, then you come in three blocks, knock out one, go one more block, and knock out another. So this is going to be the front wall of your machine. As you can see, it is pretty much exactly identical to this one. So let's go ahead and place the buttons that we will have on the outside of our machine. Now above each of these buttons you can put an item frame or whatever to represent the item that is being dispensed behind this wall. So now you come to the back of the machine, place one piston behind each and every button that is behind the wall and make sure all the pistons are one block out from the wall because you will need to have a repeater that comes right here. Now, under each of the pistons, take any block that will emit a redstone signal, or not emit, carry, excuse me, and take a repeater all behind these. So this is kind of the key right here. So when you push a button, once the pistons are down, it will be carried through the block, but as you can see right now, it is not. So right here, you're going to put a block behind each of the repeaters and put a dropper on top of each of the blocks. Now, after that, we have to put a dropper in here because this is where the items will be dispensed out of. And this is our final destination. So we build out from our final destination and make sure to hold shift while doing this with the hoppers because if you just normally right click then it will go into the inventory of the hopper but if you hold shift it will build off of the hopper now you put redstone dust behind all of those and come out with a repeater because when these blocks are down right here this will be transmitted all the way to the redstone which will be used for something later. Now right here you're going to build the item receptacle for the items you want people to throw in. So this is the area that it's going to be thrown in right into this block. Now you need to build an item collection area as well. So I'll build that out here then I need to build back to my item collecting area so let's go ahead do this now kind of move slow because of shift clicking or shift holding so that will go all the way back to our item collection area back here now this right here behind one of these hoppers you need to place a redstone torch because as you can see from this demonstration, when I throw any item into the hoppers, when it has a redstone signal, it will not be carried through the hopper like it will without a redstone signal. And I will show that right now. So you can see it doesn't stay in any of the hoppers. It goes to the final hopper. But when I have a redstone signal, it stops at this hopper. So. That is what we're going to use to tell if there is an item in our machine. Now, in the recent updates, they have added comparators, which will allow you to tell if there are items in a hopper, which in our case, we want it to tell. So it will 
output a redstone signal to the repeater which will carry the redstone signal up this staircase and come over to the pistons so that when an item is in the machine all these pistons will be turned on pushing the blocks down allowing an item to be selected down here so this is the basics of the machine now these can be expanded for 28 items as I've said before so this right here the redstone signal from the block will be able to be a maximum of 28 blocks from this repeater right here for the machine to still work effectively now what I like to do up here is take a block over and a repeater then put a block here and right here put a redstone lamp so let me get one of those right now and this will sort of indicate to the people on the outside that they can now choose an item from your list of items that they can select now the this part right here needs to come to the redstone torch because this will tell the machine that an item has been selected and that they now the redstone output needs to be turned off so that the item can move through and they can no longer choose an item so let's go ahead and bring our redstone over I'll actually bring it around this way I haven't done it this way before so let's do it this way and we'll bring it over in a trench We will need that other trench for something else though. So let's place a repeater just to make sure that the redstone signal will get there. And that will turn off the torch right here, which will allow the item to go through into your item collection area, which we can make right here. So right here you can make a little shack or really whatever you want to collect your items from. So, if you're using it on a server, this is obviously a good idea. You can lock this behind a door, protect it, whatever. So, now this is the last part of the build. This will drop the item out after it has been put through the dispensers. So, you want to have a lot of delay on these repeaters so that you can ensure that the item has reached the final dropper that it will come out of before the redstone signal gets there because items only go through droppers at I believe uh, one item through one hopper at uh, I believe four tenths of a second so it's not a very fast process but this is our basic setup right here. So now let's just put my redstone torch in here, which is our end hopper. Then we can throw our designated item in here. And in this case, we do not have a designated item. So I'll just throw in a piece of redstone dust and it'll take a little time as the hoppers do have some delay, but eventually the pistons go off and the torch has been lit letting us know that we can now select our item that we would like to choose. And right now there are no item frames, so I could not tell what items these were, but you can put them there. And then directly corresponding to it, you can put your item in the dropper, which will be dispensed. So I'm going to take a redstone torch, which I placed in there. So that triggers the dropper back there. and redstone pulse finally reaches this dropper and throws me my redstone torch so this is the basics of a minecraft vending machine of course you can make this a bit prettier than it is right now but this is basically the basics and as you can see our redstone dust has come back to our collection area so we can collect it later whether it's diamonds gold whatever I hope you guys have enjoyed this redstone tutorial. Make sure to check out the rest of my channel and like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys later.